Oh, hi guys. You thought I gave up, didn't you? You thought I gave up on the mineral loader, right? Couldn't get it done. Well, I think I got it done. Get the uh, battery voltage and then the battery temperature <laughs> and this um, also act as a battery alarm when the battery uh, go above uh, a certain set temperature it will start uh, beeping at a buzzer and so on with the voltage and pretty much we shut it off right now and the voltage start dropping below 44 volts it's gonna start beeping as you can see there um, the reason why it's still got powers on right now is because of the capacitor to the uh, um, uh, 
controller. So that's why it's still got power, but eventually it's gonna drop. And here we got a status LED screen. We got an emergency button. And uh, that's pretty much it. And here's the control valve. And the two center one are going forward. So the right one's for the right and the left one's for the left wheels. And then uh, this one's for the bucket. And then this one's for the, uh, the arms. Okay, so now I am off the machine and it's uh, powers off and it's holding the big lock just fine. I'm really not sure how heavy this lock is. Um, it was dry, uh, however, it rained it for two or three days for the past uh, few days. So it's uh, soaked it up again, so I'm not really sure how heavy it is. But the uh, diameter is about uh, 21 inches, 22 inches or so and the length is about uh, 30 inches and I'm if I have to guess I'll say the weight's probably this log probably maybe like 150 pounds or so <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to say thank you to those who have uh, subscribed to my channels over the year and watched my video over the years. Um, unfortunately, uh, in the video, I didn't show uh, me moving any dirt or you know scooping up any dirt, anything like that. Um, just because at this house, I don't have any actual dirt to, to move around, any job to do. So I have to move this to my other location um, in order to do anything. But until then, until I have the covers, the front covers, and the side cover finish uh, as you can see it can carry that big log probably about 150 200 pounds no problem and it can actually almost lift it, the wheel completely off the ground on the back of the tacoma truck which is not that heavy but still probably at least a few hundred pounds um, easily so um, it is what it is and i know it's going to have limitations it's not going to be like a commercial machine um, but later on i'll be building possibly uh, an augers um, so that I can dig hole for plants and then possibly probably a, um, a grapple a grapple so that I can use it to grab the logs or you know maybe just digging up some dirt um, so uh, stay tuned for more update videos um, uh, on the attachment that I'll be building for this little thing and again so I want to shout out uh, my tractiveforums.com uh, I have a thread in there that I've been posting question and uh, there's a couple of guys on there that's really uh, knowledgeable about hydraulics and they've been helping me out try to figure out a lot of problem and issue I was having with the design uh, obviously I, I didn't do all the proper research before I started the project which I should have so if you guys want to build something similar I suggest you go into the uh, mytractiveforums.com and then do all your research first before you commit to a, a project like this and so you don't make the same mistakes that I did so on the next few video, I'll go in depth uh, into all of the problems and all of the uh, issue I was having uh, with the design and then I had to constantly change in it uh, and then all of the mistakes that I'm making. Uh, again, thanks for watching. And if you, if you like the channels, please give me a thumb up and consider sharing and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.